My name is the champ. Yeah. Champ. That's my grandpa next to champ. And that's, oh, that's, that's, and that's Coop. Yes, that's Strip's podcast, buddy. podcast oh, that's co-host. And that's the Robinsons. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I haven't really kind of looked. Brad Paisley. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy's here. Magic. Magic. Any more big time? I'm sure there are. Oh, that, look. I just saw that guy. I just saw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play bird feeder. Dude, I'm loading up. <laughs> I didn't see our lineup yet. Who's playing short? CT. Mm, Muncie, I believe. Eddie. As the Dodgers prepare for the series opener against the Padres, Justin Turner is more than happy to lend a hand during defensive drills. You know how many hops you want, JP? Three. No chance, you're too close. <laughs> he shoots a lot of balls that way. Yeah, with one, we'll play the bunt, and then with two strikes, I think we go out of the shift anyhow. Yeah, so I'll so just stay just here stay the whole there, time. Yeah. And playing that, yeah. playing that like you did yesterday with Sandoval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there more when they hit it over? It's gonna be more flat. Yeah. And while defense was the focus of the beginning of the pregame workout, Turner is close to achieving an offensive milestone. Entering the series, he's sitting at 998 career hits, just two away from 1,000. Big head. <laughs> it's a 34 and a half, 33. That's your game? Or no, just I swing it for a round or two in BP. Look at that putt. Hey, heads up, Bob. We don't know where this is going. It's off my shin. I can't get this timing down. Shoot him. Hook him. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Yankee Stadium. My first hit was in Yankee Stadium. The game actually started on September 11th, which was special already because it was 2009. We went through the whole 9-11 ceremony. It was also a special night because Derek Jeter actually broke the Yankees' all-time hit record. There it is. For 72 years, Lou Gehrig has been the Yankees' all-time hits leader. Now, it's Derek Jeter. We also had like two different two-hour rain delays and I actually got my first hit at 1.17 in the morning on September 12th, and there was about four or 500 fans in the stand still. Hot shot up the middle, a base hit for Justin Turner. Turner's first career hit came 11 years and two teams ago, and the fact that he's closing in on 1,000 is all the more impressive, considering that his time with the Dodgers began as a non-roster invitee, just hoping to make the team. Uh-oh. Loud noises. Exactly, JT. Uh-oh is right. Loud noises. Uh-oh is right. Get in there. Oh, that's sick. Coming out. Good, good, good. Leading up to this week, obviously getting the thousandth hit. You know, I knew, I knew it was like on the radar, but honestly, I think, uh, there was more intent in going into finding a way to win games. I actually almost forgot about it. Look at Rios. Eddie. Wow. Eddie. That boy, Eddie. boy, Bueller. Nice run. You should have dove. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? Just started the second. You jumping in with us? Cool? Yeah. Go next. You got the belly. Oh, bopper. Good 
Good move. Yes. Day game homer. Hell yeah. <laughs> Take. It's, not, it's never a good time driving home if you didn't hit a homer in a day game here. Right. Hey, it was a great time for me yesterday because I got a hit. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I hear you. That's a good day. All right. One good round. That's all we need. Wall ball. Wall ball. Oh. Birch bat. It's only going to get harder. <laughs> well, when we hit off the machine, there's so many f balls in here. But like regular BP, there's like five. Yeah. Baby. A lot of, of pop-ups up the top. Belly's working on bunting. I do need to. Free knocks. A ball I'll never find. How's your game? Uh, I played like six holes out here yesterday. It was not very good. Not good? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, these, these greens are like... So fast. <laughs> hey, what, it's like what putting course, on this. Or what tournament do they play here? Tigers tournament used to be here. Genesis? The shootout. Used to be like the shootout. Tiger, yeah. Tiger. Yeah. Tiger World Challenge. Oh, okay. yeah. This used to be the course. Back in January, for the fifth consecutive year, Justin Turner and his wife, Courtney, organized and hosted the JT Golf Classic to benefit the Justin Turner Foundation, whose mission is to support veterans, children battling life-altering illnesses, and various youth baseball organizations throughout Los Angeles. Five years now of the golf tournament. It, it's grown and um, you know we're selling out faster uh, every year. It's really a good showing from my baseball guys, my baseball family. Uh, love that they come out and support every single year. It means, means the world to me. 2016 when we first held that first golf tournament we had zero clue what we were doing I think we threw it together in less than a month and we just knew that we wanted to raise as much money as possible to help uh, the Dream Center open their veterans program and I think we all kind of sat down at the end of the event and realized you know we had something special there and we could really make an impact beyond just what Justin and I can do and so that kind of, I guess, burst our foundation. So the golf tournament is kind of, you know, the five years kind of signifies that five years of growth that we've had in our foundation. What's up, buddy? Hey, it's kind of sneaky sweet stroke you got there, huh? It's not that good on the course. <laughs> it's a, I'm a range pro. Yeah, I, I wish I was that good too. I'm really good off the mats. If the mats could be everywhere, I'd be so good. Yeah. I just put a mat on the back of my course, I'd be locked in. Like, as soon as I get on grass, it's like, <laughs> It's not something where, you know, we just want to throw our name on it and let someone else do all the work. Uh, we want to be involved in everything and make sure everything's done properly and represents us uh, as people and our foundation uh, the way we want it to be represented and uh, ensure that everyone is, you know, getting their money's worth. Obviously, you know, they're, they're donating a lot of money to come out and participate and uh, we want to ensure that they have a good time and also realize, you know, the cause and the impact. Uh, that their dollars are having on people right here in the city of Los Angeles. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. I feel good about it. I can try, but just... I'll do it. I'm really, I know all the rules. I'm not getting out <laughs> You know how to drive these things, Strip? First time in a golf cart? Hey! You gotta put it in drive, bro. Let's go. I can't wait to get this. Look at the old teammate. Hey, Mikey, let's get some tunes, bro. Where's hole number one? Right there. Hey. Isaac! Hey. Uh-oh. Hey. Mm. Uh -oh. Billy! Uh-oh. I launched. Oh, boy. Did I beat him? No chance. Might have. You're not even close. Right there. That'll play. So I'm going to lose this Get ball. right. Oh, baby, hey, that's, I think that's my first eagle I've ever had in my life. Oh, okay. well, truly you, too. <laughs> hey, this, I'm going to sign, I'm signing this ball and put it in the office. The tournament's host is playing well.
but the same can't be said for some of his Dodger teammates. Oh. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Dang. Hey, you cleared the water. Yeah. All right. Oh, I chunked it and pushed it. <laughs> I feel like we got to feel pretty good about that as a group. I was, I think the over under was at one and a half water balls. <laughs> Who's in front of us? CT? CT, Seeger, and Stripling. They're like, we're going to be terrible. <laughs> Come on. Thought I've known your heart. <laughs> Dang it, man. We thought we were off to a good start. We were like minus one through six or seven, thinking we were doing pretty good. And then we talked to another guy who said uh, the winner last year was minus 24. So I think we're a little, uh, we're a little off pace. Good speed. Down. Go. Oh, oh man. Dude, Joe little, Kelly yeah. was texting me like three weeks ago. He's like, hey, who's in my group? I need, uh, I need this guy. I need this guy. I'm like, Relax, Lovely. bro. It's in the 60s or something. You're getting yeah. comped into a tournament and you're trying to rig the deck? Thank you. Chill. That actually counts. <laughs> the stick's not in. It's supposed no. to be in. No. That should be in. It's my best drive of the day, too. Now, what's this statement of what Joe has about you being the, the, the casualty on this team? That's all. That is false. I'm the third best player. Barnsley's the fourth worst player. It's truly really incredible and humbling and to see the amount of support that we've received and to see this thing grow and uh, to see how much people care. It's not just me doing it, it's everyone who's supporting our foundation and, and supporting us with time and money uh, going to impact these people's lives. It's really just become kind of this big group, you know, family almost of, of people wanting to come out and learn more about the foundation, support the foundation, and, you know, just have a great day for a great cause. Get in there. Oh, oh my God. That, that has to Take count. Take the flag out. Take that has out. to count. Witness. There you go. That it didn't go in, but it still counts. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> As Backstage Dodgers continues, the beneficiary of the JT Golf Classic puts the funds to good use. And now we're a couple weeks into this and 11 hours a day, this line is going forward and people are being helped and people are being served. As COVID-19 cases surged in mid-March, Major League Baseball players were sent home from spring training and much of Southern California shut down. Many LA area residents faced uncertain situations after being laid off some concerned about how to provide for their families. Fortunately, the LA Dream Center was there to help. We made the decision in two days. We had two days of backup food to be able to do it. And we said, what if we just started a drive through that would be open 11 hours, seven days a week so that people don't have to worry about lines, rubbing shoulders, and they could just drive through and get their food and go during this crisis. 11 hours a day, this line is going forward and people are being helped and people are being served. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I can't believe that. Isn't that amazing? $10 allowance. It's pretty amazing. It's, it's almost like just when you think you can't go on, someone steps up and does something to give you more fuel to go on. I just never seen anything like it in my life. Justin and Courtney Turner have been working with the Dream Center for several years and were eager to assist. We jumped on board with the Dream Center and uh, started reaching out to local restaurants in the area, smaller restaurants, family-owned businesses who were also getting hit really hard at the time. Uh, and what we do is we ask them what their most efficient meal was that they could make. What, what can you mass produce? Justin was kind of coming up with this idea of us being able to place orders through these local or small owned, you know, family restaurants and send them over to the Dream Center. So it would kind of be, you know, mutually beneficial for, for us, you know, to be able to also help these small businesses, but also be able to provide meals to families in need. Right now I'm about to make one of my favorite calls to RJ, who's been sending tacos up every week. 
the coolest part was calling every week and placing these orders, these massive orders through them and just hearing you know, how much the order meant to the business and meant to the family. These orders were literally you know, preventing them from having to lay off some of their employees. You know, you just, you've done so much and are keeping our business afloat. So thank you so much and we really appreciate it. Of course, and hopefully when we get through this whole thing, uh, Cor and I will come in there and we'll, we'll grab some tacos from you. Awesome, that'll be great. <laughs> All right, buddy. This is one of the taco joints, Toro's Grill, that Justin and Courtney are paying to uh, send the tacos to. Over the 82 days that the food line was operating, uh, the Dream Center was able to provide over 900,000 meals to families in need. You know, because Justin and I were involved and we were, you know, speaking out about this partnership with the Dream Center that other people were then able to come in and make an impact as well. It just shows how special of a place it is. In honor of Justin and Courtney and their foundation. Come on, today we officially, on June 16th, Justin and Courtney Turner You never really think of, oh, I you know, dream of having a food bank named after me, but then when it happens, you realize how special it is. You know, we get a lot of praise for, you know, supporting the Dream Center. But we're not just supporting you guys, we're actually following in you guys' direction. For our name to be on something that is going to have such a huge lasting impact in the city of Los Angeles just meant the world to us. Uh, the energy, the spirit, the, the just joy and passion you brought out here every day to change people's lives and, and help them get to their next meal or help them get to the next day is, is just remarkable. So thank wow. every single one of you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Awesome. This, this is awesome. It's not just a COVID thing. It's once, hopefully, we move past all this here shortly. Um, it's something that's going to continue to help people in need and help provide meals for families all across the city of Los Angeles. Next on Backstage Dodgers, Turner's quest for a career milestone continues. Good chance he reaches number 1,000 on this homestand. In early November, AM570, the official radio station of the Dodgers, held their 12th annual Help a Hero Radiothon to benefit the Los Angeles Dream Center and enlisted the help of a certain Dodger. The number to give is 818-524-2930. We're given to the Dream Center. And the guy that brought the Dream Center, along with his lovely wife, to our attention, it is Red Turn 2. Justin Turner in the house along with Courtney Turner. Courtney with a K. With a K. In the house. Justin, how did you meet the people at the Dream Center? How did this whole thing start? You know, it actually wasn't me who met uh, the Dream Center. Courtney went in and did an event for the, for the Dodger Wives, and uh, she came home and was like, man, you have to see this place, the Dream Center. So I did a Wives Outreach event with the Dream Center, Justin's first year with the Dodgers. Um, it was led by Ellen Kershaw, and I was just immediately blown away by everything that they are doing over there and all the programs that they're offering. And I went home that night, and after the game, I told Justin, like, this is a place that you need to visit, and we need to get involved. Justin Turner and his wife, Courtney, first partnered with the Dream Center in 2014, and since then, have collaborated on a number of charity initiatives, such as establishing a food bank and building a home for female veterans. For these last 25 minutes, I'm gonna match every donation up to $25,000. Whoa! Well, that'll get us over. That, yes, it will. That'll definitely get us over, <laughs> and then some. We're trying to chase down last year. J Justin Turner's beard is, is like pre-wedding beard. And I know Courtney with a K has mandated some beard trimmings over the years but I don't know what has inspired this. What this is almost is. like a shorn sheep. I will tell you, it was the first time in 10 years I put a years. razor to my face. The beard, the beard and Justin are synonymous. You know how it works. Sometimes you gotta just chop something completely off and let it regrow and, and come back to life Ooh, you know, like bigger and better. Right, what do you just, think, Vic? It's a salient point. A You're the philosopher. A point. You ready for a rebirth today, Vic? I am, I am ready. Is that right? I am ready because I, we want to donate all this money. Okay you know, to, to the, the Radiothon, and that is why I grow the beard right. in hopes that I can cut it today. Oh, uh, wow. Whoa. The tools. The tools are in the room. Oh. The tools hey, are in the room. Just, hey, guess what, Vic? S just got real. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Call 
called in and said five dollars thousand dollars for Vic to shave the beard. Whoa! Whoa. So I feel like five grand, oh, like scissors, camera. like a little <laughs> trim. But if we can match it, another five, then we then we get out the machine and we take them down. Now you're talking, Red Samurai. These things are purring. Right? Uh, that that extra five grand got uh, some good vibrations going over here. You okay? You can make the decision for the okay. stash. Okay. Wow, he looks quick. You look good. Yeah. We can't have him walking out of here not looking good. Do your thing. Do your thing. Thanks, everybody. I'm in good hands. Wait, you look sexy. A little stash in here. Woo! Wow. Hey, Vic. You look like, you look like a million bucks. Too. Really good. We got 15 minutes to go, and we are at $222,000. Holy crap! Wow. Wow. I think we're going to do it. We're definitely going to do it. Here we go. 240. 240! Hey! Justin went one for four yesterday. Turner's hit in yesterday's game, by the way, was his 998th in his career. Good chance he reaches number 1,000 on this homestand. Turner with a base hit is 999th as a big leaguer against Cal Quantrill to open up this fourth. Justin won for three today. On a 2-1 pitch, Turner swings, hits a high fly ball to left center field. Grisham back, but with room on the edge of the track. And now the inning is over. Turner ends the night one for four, still one hit shy of a thousand. But the following night, he gets another shot at the milestone. Justin Turner got his 999th career hit in last night's game, ready to lead off this second inning, no score. It's so special just to think about you know, how far he's come with his career. And there were points when you know he didn't know if he was going to be out of baseball and so for him to be able to find this place in LA where you know he's able to make such an impact I think that's why it meant so much. Turner lifts a fly ball to left field that sends Profar back at the wall leaps and can't get it. Justin Turner into second with a double but more importantly his 1000th career major league hit. It was actually kind of a little different because watching on TV, I kind of got to see the close up of his reaction. And I think, you know, he did have that moment of reflection and, you know, kind of took that pause after he asked for the ball. Thinking back, reflecting on the career in the past and, you know, the ups and downs and finally landing here in LA and pretty crazy. Obviously, something to be very proud of. Congratulations, Justin. Again, like, a thousand hits was never on my radar. Um, you know, I just was happy to play every time I, I got an opportunity to play, and it's something that uh, no one can ever take away from me.